Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. We are going into the boss alliance-based event battle at the Basilica. This is a lot of fun where we take on the very um, pretty difficult bosses, including the Molten Man and the Hydro Man brothers that are uh, really causing a lot of trouble for mostly the Avengers. We are going to get into some action against those bosses. We're going to play three of the side nodes, or at least two of them, and uh, play some four-star teams, talk about team strategy. We'll uh, cover some three-star teams that might do well, and then also play some five-stars in there also. Let's jump into the action here pretty much right away. We are also going to do our uh, fun guessing game that we had a good run in in the standard tokens if you played along before I'll continue on there until we get a winner and give you guys a uh, shout out thanks to the subscribers that played along in that we'll do it again not uh, this time but we'll do it again soon and uh, be prepared and get your friends involved all right let's take on the boss this is pretty difficult against molten man because he can do a lot of damage he actually has a healing ability and, or actually, you know, a, a damage reduction ability. And uh, this is the four star team. I think we'll take him on with here first. All four are boosted. They don't have uh, like a long standing history of synergy or anything, or anything between them. But I think we're going to get a lot of uh, really good benefits out of their color abilities. Fury's yellow. Avengers Assemble is one of my favorite abilities in the entire four star tier. It uh, has a stun component, which we won't get the stun out of, but uh, it creates critical tiles for huge match damage and then some uh, small but helpful protect tiles. We are also going to bring along worthy Captain America. He's got the red and blue I think we're going to play. We could play Fury's blue. It does hit really hard when you have a tile moving enemy against you, but I think we're going to make use of worthy here for that, and uh, maybe his yellow passive will kick in. And then Venom, I'm mostly bringing him for a green and black use, but um, he has a very strong yellow. Also, separately from that, his green might shake up the board quite a bit. Let's jump into it, talk about this team, and uh, see if we can win without boosting AP or anything. All right, so let's get our animations on here to make sure we see the most out of our abilities. So what do we want to do? I think you really want to make a big run for red and yellow. That's going to be our main ability colors. Now, keep in mind with Molten Man, he is a red, yellow, and black user. His abilities are kind of cool. Vol Volcanic Eruption really just does damage, but also converts his non-strong colors, blue, green, and um, purple, into his strong colors. So you have to watch out for that and um, can do a ton of damage based on other... Uh, situations on the board including special tiles and stuff when he converts those colors but flame and flood is an inexpensive 6 AP ability we got to keep him away from yellow so red and yellow that's going to be our focus and keeping it away from him denies him those matches hopefully and um, we'll keep him from t trying to use this to team up with Hydra Man to do kind of a combo attack against our team again that's going to be damaged but also uh, works really well uh, if he has, uh, if there are team up tiles on the board, nine or more, we got to make sure and keep the team up tiles matched away. And then here is his is uh, really tough ability, igneous armor. The he places fortified countdown tiles on the board, that makes his damage reduction by 40 percent. That is huge amount of damage reduction. So you really want to try to time it out and uh, get rid of those tiles if you can. Starting out with a decent set of cascades there. Now he might go for that black match and remove his countdown very quickly. Um, there's also a chance he might go for red. So if he goes for red, I want to just get a red match maybe. Let's do it this way. Well, I was hoping he would take that black match and it didn't work. We'll go for green that gets the match for in blue. So I think it's time to play the windup. When it resolves, it does a little bit of damage, but more importantly, it puts charge tiles on the board. Charge tiles will help us increase our AP gains by quite a bit. 
And even more important than that is the more charge tiles on the board, the enemy will take damage if they match one, and then when there's a bunch of charged, we'll play Worthy Cap's blue ability. And uh, it would stun, but it deals a ton more damage based on how many charge tiles are on the board. So let's see. I don't want to do this yellow right now. That would set up a match four in purple. That destroys my countdown. It's too bad. He might want to go for that yellow. Uh, no, he'll go for the match four in black. It's disguised a little bit since it's fortified, but he is going to go for that. So let's get... Take a little bit of team up off the board. Got his team attack. Worthy absorbed some of that damage and put out his countdowns. His passive ability did kick in really well here. And that changes yellow tiles on the board to red and blue. Cool. Now I like with this team with Fury, I would have preferred to get a lot more yellow matches going on before that because now yellow's less uh, prevalent on the board. That's okay. There's a lot of charge tiles. Let's see how much damage we get. Well, we want to wait for these countdowns to go off. So... One more turn on that one. Get our purple lit up for Fury here. So he did heal, but now his... Countdowns aren't on the board, which basically reduces damage by 40%. So now that that's not there, let's play Escape Plan. Damage plus a countdown that creates a good strike tile. That does a lot more damage than I was remembering. Fury's at a higher level when he's boosted. Now let's play Heavy Hitter. We can um, get multiple hits of damage for a good amount, plus also charge tile damage addition uh, in addition to the total we did lose some charge tiles i actually matched them away but all right not too bad especially if we can get our other abilities ready to go here there's a bunch of stuff we could do let's go for white green purple oh man worthy cap doing his overpowered but highly effective jump in front. And it looks like we're going to get some more matches out of it. We have one more turn on escape plan. Let's wait for that. That'll create a strike tile and also steal some AP. What do we want to do here? Probably, oh, here's a good combo, um, I think. Let's see how this works out. We're going to do this red match, which lifts up the green, then drops it in place, and then that'll uh, drop down a match four in blue. Yep, pretty good cascade there. We're doing well. We have to be careful he's going to um, try to earn health back if he gets yellow or red against us. We're in really good shape here. Let's play our abilities. And we could play Venom's Green, Symbiotic Fury, but let's win with Cap. I think that's the way to go. Heavy hitter. Very cool animation for the win. So, hey, that's a, fu a really fun yet uh, powerful four-star team. If you have teams that you've used in this, um, either with or without the actual boosted characters for the event, let me know in the comments. Hey, there's a nice shield resupply day. 25 more command points. Takes us up. 4480 total CP. That's great. Let's fight in a couple of the side nodes, get back to the boss, and uh, talk about some other teams. We'll play the Agent Venom matchup here. And he's got a very strong black yellow and a pretty good red when you play it right. I don't think we'll use his red. We'll, we'll play black and yellow for Agent Venom. And since that's the case, let's um, let's bring Thor along. I don't mind if he gets hit from here down to 50% health. And so we could also use um, help from purple and blue. I don't think we have any four stars that meet that criteria right now. So let's go on to Maybe we'll go to purple and blue, sounds like Doctor Strange, and he's going to be a really good uh, really good amount of help in this one, since the enemy team plays a lot. Uh, we don't, yeah, this is good. The enemy team plays a lot of countdowns against us. Especially the muscles. 
Let's take on this guy first. We've got an extra move in purple on the board. You guys are too nice to me with the viewer luck. Bringing that in against the bosses will help a lot. Can we do anything to get an extra move? Oh man, we can. Check this out. This is crazy. We can uh, do this green match, which drops this yellow tile here, right? And that'll set up the yellow for an extra move. And the yellow extra move match five will drop a critical tile right there for two criticals in a match is going to be huge. Check this out, we'll set it up. Thankfully the board did not misalign things for us. Let's go to this full health muscle here, 51,000 health. When two criticals hit each other, it is out of control. 13,000, 8,000, 14,000, all that damage in one match is crazy you guys helped me set that board up really well and things are looking good we can uh, let's qualify our yellow here sets up a match four in green as they play abilities dr strange will give them a nice reminder that they uh, shouldn't be doing that against our team with his flames of the fall team all right let's stop there and uh, that muscle's down enough. Let's move over to the thug. Because what I like here is we have our yellow ready for from Agent Venom. Take cover is a really cool ability. Costs a little bit at 11. So it's a little bit, on, it's on the expensive side. But check this out. He's uh, really highly boosted on my roster. 14,200 team damage. And uh, Agent Venom sends his allies invisible for a couple of turns. Cool animation. Takes him out. Let's go for... Let me see if we can get a match for him. Blue over there. I don't see it. We really need to go for Agent Venom's black ability. Uh, maybe we can line it up with a couple of matches this way. There we go. Oh, man. These guys play so many countdowns. Doctor Strange at the five star level or the four star or the three star, excuse me, is uh, highly effective against these guys. We have our abilities ready to play for Agent Venom. Let's let uh, Doctor Strange take this guy out, I think. And we'll win with a shot here from Military Might. This only costs five and it does a ton of damage. Technically it costs seven because it also depletes two AP from your highest AP pool, but at 17,900 damage, let's go. The passive side of that ability is really fun if you happen to get over 14 or 16 or whatever setting you have it at AP, but uh, that's for a really long battle. We wanna just get this over with. And hey, that was fun winning with Agent Venom. Let's get back into the um, round eight battle here against Molten Man. We'll try to play with a different four star team. This one's gonna be fun. So let me get uh, Spider-Man Infinity War in this slot here, and we'll grab a couple other, other Spider-Verse characters, two other four star characters. So let's scroll down here. They're both a little bit lower on my roster, by the way. Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. This is a really super fun team. If you haven't had a chance to play them, you really should try. While I've got them loaded, let's scroll down and check out the three-star characters that you could be using in this boss event. Round eight is pretty tough for three-star character teams. If you have four stars or five stars that you can equip with them, that's probably great. But you see at the top here, three-star Spidey is um, really gonna be decent help on the three-star realm because if you match purple, you get a free protectile and they're kind of strong. So if you're going to be matching purple, um, that protectile will help you against the boss since he's moving, making matches against you and has some cheap abilities. And then on top of the, uh, bringing Spidey into the match, you might consider Captain Marvel because if she takes enough damage, she will earn red and black AP for your team for free when, it, when she takes damage. So uh, it, for free, if you want to call it that or not. But... Um, Building up her black is really pretty strong. It's a stun, but it's a, it's a good amount of damage on her black ability. And then building up red for her 
or someone else on your team is always useful. Then you could go down, I think three star cap is probably a very, very good three star character for fighting these bosses because of those fortified countdowns they create. Cap can throw his shield with either red or blue right on top of those fortified countdowns and then it'll be the, the fortification stays in place for his countdown. So it's super effective for him. A couple of turns you get a lot of AP back and hopefully you can keep firing those shields back and forth and really doing a lot of good. And don't forget his blue ability uh, also creates a strong protectile when that countdown resolves. So if you don't play three star Captain Marvel, strongly consider Iron Man, obviously one of the best and useful three star characters in the game. Him with Cap and pretty much anyone else can uh, use the AP he earns from Iron Man's yellow and uh, you've got red and blue and green AP all over the place once that resolves. So with that said, let's go into our four star Spider-Verse team. This should be pretty fun, I think. See if we can win against another battle with Molten Man. And what do we want to do here? Well, once again, you gotta keep red and yellow away from him. That's the most dangerous um, colors to let him get. And red is our hardest hitting ability. So is purple, but with red, Iron Spider just does a ton of damage if you can get web tiles on the board. Luckily, this team is completely designed for adding web tiles all over the board. Whenever, whenever Iron Spidey makes a match, he will produce two web tiles. Now, he has to tank those colors to um, basically have the strongest match damage or be a higher level than the other two to get those web tiles on the board. But I think that's going to be easy. He's, gonna, he's the only green user on the team, of course. And then blue is also Spidey, and so is red. And watch your levels, though, because if you have Iron Spidey at the same level as Miles or Spider-Gwen, you'll need to put Iron Spider in the center so he'll have priority on tanking colors. If you don't know what that means, um, ask me in the comments and I'll explain that a little bit more. But tanking gets to be super important at higher levels in the game. So anytime either team matches a web tile, Spider Gwen will earn a burst of health for the team, and Miles Morales will earn AP for the team. It's so useful. Let's go ahead and play hide and seek here. We could play Spider Gwen's purple, but it's a stun. It's actually a very good two turn stun on two enemies, but um, our uh, boss here isn't stunnable anyway. So let's play hide and seek. It creates a bunch of web tiles and invisibility tile for miles it's at the bottom i was hoping to get a different spot we'll do this match four watch the ap we get from those web tiles very cool and of course the health burst where are we at here so we are up to 10 red awesome i think you have to look back and see if power and responsibility plays more web tiles than what we get from Spider Gwen, hers is just a bit cheaper, and it's ready to go. We'll play hers. I think Miles produces um, a, an additional web tile, but one of hers is fortified, so um, technically that's adding more to the board, and uh, they might be matched equally. Each one of these characters has a, has a red ability. Spider Gwen's hits very hard. Cherry Bomb, um, the cost starts at 12. It's reduced down by each web tile on the board, so therefore this would only cost six. But um, it's at 33,000 damage. That would uh, be a lot. Keep in mind, this guy has a 40% damage reduction while Igneous Armor is on the board. So don't be surprised if you play a big hit and it doesn't do as much as you want it. We're going to save, though, for Proportional Punch. I just love this ability. I always ask you guys to count up the actual total damage we would get since it's damage for every web tile in his colors versus a little bit uh, around half damage for each web tile in the opposite colors. Let's build a few more webs on the board before we play that. And we'll look here also at Surprise from Miles Morales. This is an incredibly hard hitting ability while he's boosted as well. Deals 25,900 damage straight up plus 33 additional for each web tile on the board. 
it doesn't have a limiter for the additional damage. So this thing can go crazy. Let's save up for Proportional Punch though, just in case. Blue drops green. I want to play Iron Spidey's green. So to be smart, we should wait two turns for Igneous Armor to um, expire off the board. Go ahead and play Thwip for all those additional web tiles. Look at this board, guys. This is cool. All right, so just for fun, we're going to play Teenage Kicks. It won't stun him, but it does add webs. Just a few more and a few more. And here we are to win the match. I do believe he's uh, he's got one turn left. And we'll just do... He'll do a black match after this, probably. Should have waited on some of those webs, I think. Oh, man, an extra move? Well, we have to take that for fun. All right, guys. Who's going to add this up for me and put it in the comments down below? How much damage are we going to get from all of these web tiles? It's going to be an absurd number, and I do believe it's in the 100,000 range. It's over 90,000, I, I believe. Um, I'll let you add it up. Proportional punch for the win. Awesome. Fun team. Web tiles all over the board. Looking forward to another character. I think we're getting this coming week, and that character may also be a web tile producer. And in fact, might be a um, good color scheme for playing with 5-star Peter Parker. We'll see how it goes. Well, all right, let's take on another side note, and then we'll get in our final boss battle for the day. And then we'll do our fun uh, play along from the standard tokens to see if we can get a winner there today. So, do we want to play a single heads-up match against a very boosted... Vulture, or do we want to play the Nick Fury match? Let's see if we can beat Vulture. This is really tough. We'll um, pick a character that probably has a decent advantage. Let's go for Hulkbuster here, maybe. He's got a black ability. We need to keep black away from Vulture. Do we have anyone else that would be quite suited for this matchup? Um, honestly, Archangel normally would be well suited, but... I think the uh, boss version of uh, Vulture can't be stunned anyway, so um, you don't you wouldn't get the stun from his blue power or the passive side of his blue. We played Hulkbuster recently, though. That's the thing I'm wondering about if we really want to do that. Not a lot of strong boosted black AP users actually this week or in this event. So let's just see if we can get this done. Um, I am going to boost black just to see if we can play this sooner rather than later. 101,000 health vulture. That is just not fair. <laughs> what are we going to do? Can't let him get black. Can't let him go airborne. That's uh, obviously the, the big factor here. So we need to try to build up red, of course black for sure and then blue helps as well i don't want to do this blue match i'm actually hoping he does does that blue match which would set us up with an extra move and since that's the case let's just do something simple like this took a chance he'd line us up it didn't work but we'll remove some black green is dangerous as well but it's a team damage ability it'll hit hard but not nearly as bad as uh, vulture's blue hits very hard We've got a blue and red combo. Nice that we get a match on black. He's at six green, so let's watch green a little more closely. He won't really have an incentive to go for red matches unless there's nothing else on the board or if there's a match four, of course, in red, he'll take it. So I don't have to hurry to get red necessarily. We can do matches that we are certain doesn't really give him advantages. Well, he dropped in blue, but that's just the luck sometimes. More red for us. He does take red and gets blue. What a lucky run for him. 
If he gets one more blue, we're in trouble. That does a lot of damage. We have our black ready to play. Let's try to get as much red built up as we can prior to that. Nine green means he can play his green ability, and it's a countdown, of course. Hopefully it shows up in that alignment of three where we can match it away, or maybe even he will. At least we're keeping... There we go. And he matched it. Perfect. What a waste of green, but it's a good tactic to take against an enemy. Um, I don't want to do this red in case it drops a blue here or there for him to follow up with, if that makes sense. So let's just take red here. And he gets a blue on the line break that we left him. So super dangerous. Now we're in a spot where he's going to play his blue ability. And it does a lot of damage. Check this out. 18,000. So he must have a higher spec on green, luckily enough. So we'll be able to take that damage and live through it well enough. Um... I could match black, but if I just match red this way, it kind of sets the black as unmatchable. Of course, he gets the drop and goes, goes ahead and gets a black match. So we're, we're running well enough here, and here's what I think is time to do. We're going to go ahead and play our black ability because we have an extra move lined up. We'll get strike tiles on the board in yellow. We could get a strike tile there at the bottom that we lose on the line break. But the damage we get from the strike tiles on top of the critical tile could be awesome. Let's play overdrive. Let's take some self damage, but we're up to 21 red. Extra move. Didn't lose anything. And now we get a critical tile match in black for 6,400. Not bad at all. Okay. Now, is there anything we can do to build up more red? I really don't see it. If anything, and we're going to lose a strike tile unless we do a, kind of a lame match in a match three in purple. So how much damage do we get from Repulsor Punch? This is a big hitting ability, but you want to watch your total cost because once you play it, it only costs nine, but no matter what, it depletes every red AP you have, all 21. So... Um, 20 times 2700 is going to be in the realm of, you know, 54,000 total damage. So we really still don't want to play it yet. It hits hard, but we want to play it at the exact right time if we can. So let's keep that strike tile alive and try to get a few more matches to get uh, more damage before we play Repulsor Punch. And, of course, build up more red. Maybe this will build up red somehow. Uh, we're playing well against him, meaning he had to take red when he doesn't like to. Hoping he sets us up before he gets any black to go airborne. Going airborne is so bad because he can earn a bunch of AP while he's untouchable from damage. Nine green again. So we get the strike tiles that add on to our damage, 3100. This is going to be a close one, I think. Set him up for blue. Okay. We've got a few turns before that countdown goes off. Can we get the damage we need to win here? Big time match in red. How perfect is that? Let's go for it. We're good. He's only got 9 blue, not 10. Don't get black. Ooh, he got it black. No! No! He has to use his AP on the next turn. He could go airborne. He could fire his blue to take the win. Check it out. Let's play overdrive again. We're going to get we're going to deal 6700 self-inflicted damage. That's okay. That takes our red all the way up to 30. And at the last second, before we take um, the damage from his one fell swoop and everything, a full 30 AP Repulsor Punch for the win. Wow, that was close. That was fun. Glad Hulkbuster was able to do it. We get the battle victory here. And if we beat the boss, once again, we'll be done with the event with the personal progression. And if we win here, this will earn us the 
uh, legendary token for that reward level. So to do this, let's bring in some fun five-star characters to win with. And we'll play the boosted Avengers in this. We'll play Iron Man. I think you really want to get in Captain America Infinity War once if you haven't played him yet in this event. He's great. And let's bring in Peter Parker for to round out the top level five stars for the event. And let's go. So I think in this one we're going to try to play with no AP and win with a one shot from Cap. That'll be our goal. And how to do that? Well, you need to build up enough red to play his red ability. And if you didn't know, uh, Cap's red ability is Rope-A-Dope, where it hits the two non-target enemies. But if there's only one enemy, it's already Coup de Gras, where it does ton of damage to the target, plus additional damage, in my case, near a thousand for each AP you have in every color. It spends all of your AP at once, so you want to make sure you play it when you have a huge knockout blow ready. So red's the big deal, of course. And we'll play... Um, I don't think he'll do that blue match, will he? If he did that, it would set us up with the match for in green, but he's not going to go for it. So let's do green ourselves. He'll set us up with blue... Not even close, Rick. He got a lot of AP in red and yellow. That's what we don't want to have happen. Okay, so we're working pretty well on red for Cap's big one-shot. But keep in mind, while he's got the Igneous Armor countdowns on the board, he's going to automatically reduce incoming damage by 40%. That is a ton of damage reduction. There we go, another red match. So we're looking pretty good if you look at the total AP to spend all of it and um, do the one-shot damage. Let's get this match four and see how things look on the next turn. Igneous Armor gets him 15,000 health back, but I think we're okay. He's got 45k in total health. We've got a lot of AP built up. We want to hit him right now while there's no Igneous Armor countdowns on the board. You can add up our AP and see if this is a total one shot or maybe we'll be close to it. Coup de Gras for the one shot victory. That's why Cap is great in these boss events. And we get the full progression done for the event and the legendary token at the end. Awesome. All right, just to take a quick look. In a, just a day or two, we're going to do our legendary token draws for Killmonger rotating in, Yelena rotating out into Classics, and then, of course, we're going to be hoping to add a lot of levels onto Onslaught as well. We're up to 105 Latest Legends tokens with 4480 additional command points to make that happen. That's great. Let's get into our um, play-along game, and let me know, by the way, how you guys had fun in Battle at the Basilica. I know it can be one of the tougher boss events, but um, still a very cool one, I think, overall. Let's get into the standard tokens, and this time we're going to get a winner, guys. Here are the characters that have been um, pre-selected, guessed by our subscribers. And if you get this right, we're going to give you a shout-out uh, at the end of the video here. The three stars we are looking to acquire from the 50 packs are Quicksilver, Captain America, Doctor Doom, Hulk, Iron Man, Hood, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Gambit, and Sentry. Separate from that, to make sure we get a winner, I have randomly assigned other three-star characters to the uh, people who place guesses from our subscribers, and those characters are in uh, the same in, in the same guessing order: Rock and Groot, Falcon, Spidey, Star Lord, Storm, Thanos, Thor, Vision, Patch, Wolverine, and then uh, Luke Cage. So if we get any of those additional characters along the list of characters I showed first in the same order you'll win the shout out and we'll play this game again in the future. Root for those three stars to, to uh, pop in along this 50 pack and we'll see who is our winner. Captain Marvel, or uh, Miss Marvel again, Kamala. She was not part of the game here. Another prediction missed, that means we need more 
Need more subscribers to play along. We won't do this game next video, but we'll bring it back again in about a week or so. Keep it fun. And I'm spending standard tokens like crazy. <laughs> Any other three stars beside Kamala here? Not this time. Claim it. Let's get in another 50 pack. We've got a bunch of characters, about 20 I think total, out of the 40 plus three stars in the game. So we've got a 50 50. Right about to get a winner. We hit Kamala last time. We also hit Thor and Thanos and other characters that were not selected. So. Be ready and get your lucky guesses in for next time. We won't do it on this video. We'll have to save it up. Come on, we can get a winner here. Getting some good two stars along the way, but need threes. Bonus shards are in. No three star in that quick pack. We're down to 700 plus standard tokens. Let's get a winner. Once again, we're looking for Quicksilver, Cap, Doctor Doom, Hulk, Iron Man, Hood, Switch, Doctor Strange, Gambit, Sentry, and the others I listed as bonus guesses. Did we get a three star and I looked away for a fraction of a second? I'll better, I better check. <laughs> if we don't get an obvious one here. Rockin' and Groot hit. No matter what, we do have a winner. As that was my bonus addition onto your guesses. Great job, guys. Let's see who the winner was. First, I want to see if I missed a three star along the way. Nope, it was Kamala, then Rockin' and Groot. The previous one I guessed was Captain Marvel, so we've got a lot of those to add in. Let me uh, take a quick look and give a shout out to the um, awesome subscriber that put in the guess. And here we go. Here we are in the comments section of our uh, Welcome to Shield Misty Night video, and we had a lot of great participation from our subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Our winner happens to be. Sake Volume 2, I uh, hope I pronounced that close. You guessed Quicksilver, but I gave the bonus of Rockin' and Groot in the same order of our guesses that came along. You are the winner. You get to shout out. Thank you so much. You get the heart on your comment, and uh, we'll play this game again soon. Thanks a lot to our subscribers, and if you haven't played the game before, we'll be doing it again soon. Make sure and subscribe and get into that action so uh, you can try to win next time. All right, guys, there's a video presented below. That is... Supposedly a good one for you from uh, suggested by YouTube. Please hit that and carry on. If you haven't subscribed, do that and support the channel. Really appreciate it. We are going to do legendary recruit tokens for Killmonger this coming week in just a couple of days. Wish me luck. I wish you guys the same viewer luck that always comes my way. See you next time.